Yeah, 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 yeah. You cooking with me? Yeah, 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 yeah. You cooking with me? Yeah. You cooking with me? You cooking with me? Hey, what's up, everybody? And today you are cooking with P. And today I got a great recipe for you, and it's called Shrimp and Scallop Alfredo. Now, I used to work at Red Lobster back in the day, and they used to make a dish. I think it was Shrimp Alfredo over Linguini, and man, it was delicious. So I said, I need to try to learn how to make this dish, because it's very tasty and very easy to make. We'll be right back. Remember, you're cooking with P. Okay, so I got a pot of water boiling over here. I'm gonna add some linguine number seven, probably about a pound and a quarter. I already started some in there, add a nice little second batch. I've already put a little bit of salt in there, about a tablespoon of salt. So yeah, we're gonna let that cook down a little bit. We'll be right back. Cook it with Pete. Okay, so we're gonna add about two tablespoons of olive oil. This is to saute my shrimp and my scallops. I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of olive oil and I'm gonna saute my shrimp and my scallop. Y'all remember that song back in the day? Too hot, too hot, too hot, baby. Yeah, man. So I'm letting it cool down just a little bit because I don't want to burn my shrimp or my scallops. And, um, Break it down to medium heat, so uh, I'm gonna let that uh, kind of cook kind of nice and evenly and kind of um, not too slow, not too fast. But um, I got my shrimp and my scallops sitting right here uh, wrapped in paper towels to get the excess water off, and um, I think we're about ready to drop those in. Nice and slow, baby. Nice and slow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice and slow. We're going to add a little salt to pepper up. We use about a fourth of a teaspoon of black pepper. You know me, I like a little extra. Gonna do a little salt. About a half a teaspoon of salt. And also about a fourth of a teaspoon of paprika. Now my recipe is actually a little bit bigger than the one I was reading online. I did call for a pound of shrimp. I actually have a pound of shrimp and a, a little bit over a pound of scallops. So you have to adjust your seasonings occasionally, but you want to stir this frequently because you don't want your seafood to burn. Definitely want to try to get this oil cooked off and the excess water. I'm going to crank that up a little bit. I'm going to use an electric skillet. So uh, last time I made it, it was on stove top, but it was so good. So you can see the shrimp is turning pink. The scallops are elusive in a way. But uh, that's probably got another three or four minutes to cook. And we'll go from there. My pasta is over there in the pot doing real good. It's got about six minutes left before I turn that and remove it from the stove top. So everything here is looking decent. Got a little bit too much liquid in the pan, but we'll figure out something to do with that. If you can see some of those shrimps that are not turning pink, you want to go ahead and get those flipped over. Oh yeah, it's looking mighty fine, mighty fine. Woo, doggy. That's what my boy Anson Williams would say. I think his name was Anson Williams, that Cajun dude that used to cook back in the day on T on National Broadcast TV. Woo, doggy. That's before we had all these cable TV networks, if you will. Now everybody and their dog got a cooking show. Even me. Pete. 
Oh, it smells so good. It smells so good. It smells so good. Makes me want to say, go into the light, Carolyn. Go into the light. All right, so I don't want to overcook my shrimp and scallops, so I'm going to have to remove them. I'll be drying the shrimp and scallops into this little pot until we're ready to do the next phase, if you will. Smell like I'm in Red Lobster or Olive Garden or something. And I'm screaming, but my wallet ain't. Holla. Ooh. Almost got too small of a pan. Alright, so I'm gonna let this is the stuff that you want to leave in here because it's got all that flavor from the shrimps. Just want to let that cook down a little bit. Add two tablespoons of butter. I'll let that melt down a little bit. And then I'm gonna add my onions and something that I didn't see in any recipe. I cut up one onion and one red pepper. Why red pepper, Pete? Um, outside of putting parsley on this dish, it has no color. Tastes marvelous. But um, I just said, add some red pepper and see how it comes out. Cause I'm that guy that's gonna try to put a twist on something. So um, yeah, so I'm about to add, yeah, I'm about to add it about right now. Check it out. Onions and red peppers. Ooh, got a little skin, I don't know what that is. And there is the timer for my pasta. My pasta. Yeah, oh my gosh. Mm. Well, you should smell that right there. All right, so I removed my pasta from the eye top. I'm going to let that cool off a little bit and put it in the strainer in the sink. Let it drain off. I'm going to let this cook for about another two minutes or so. Then I'm going to add some freshly minced garlic. Oh, the red peppers, man, that put a little hit on this thing. Ooh, took it to a whole nother level. Yeah, so if y'all don't see me doing another cooking video after this, don't put red peppers in your shrimp and scallop alfredo. That's just a warning from the FDA. Let that go about another 30 seconds. And the onions ain't quite as clear as I need them to be, but they're close. But I tell you, it smells fantastic. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and add my minced garlic. I used about three or four cloves because my recipe was kind of large, if you will. Yeah, man, this is smelling so good. I'm gonna keep stirring it. I'm gonna actually turn it down a little bit. Because you got to keep an eye on your temperature. You don't want to overdo anything. But yeah, it's smelling good. Oh my gosh. Smelling real good. Okay, so I think the next thing I need to add is some white wine. So I got some Moscato. And the original recipe called for one third cup. My recipe is larger, so I'm using two thirds cup. I may even use a whole cup. I'll let you know. You know me, I always like a little extra. A little extra. I'm gonna go over here and let this cook a little bit, then I'm gonna put my um, put my pasta in the strainer. Pasta. Good. Now what I normally do with my pasta is when it cools off a little bit just to keep it from sticking, 
I add a little olive oil to it, kind of run my fingers through there and make it all nice and loose. Not too oily, but just right. Okay, so we got a little, little bit more of that wine cooked out of here. And then we're going to add four cups of heavy whipping cream. And you don't want your whipping cream to boil per se, you just kind of want it to bubble a little bit. I don't know the correct culinary terminology, but all you cooks out there, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Alright. One. Two. And of course, this coming out of the fridge, just cooling it, everything down on a fast and furious pace. Three. And four. Oh my gosh, that looks good. Holler at your boy. I gotta crank this up a little bit so we can get some more heat established. Okay, so we're waiting for our heavy cream, our onions, our red pepper, and God, whatever else we got in there. Uh, garlic, uh, butter, Wait for that to heat back up a little bit, just enough to where, um, just enough to where it's bubbling a little bit. Just enough. And it's gonna take a few minutes to get back up to temp. But um, anyway, we're gonna keep stirring it. We're gonna add um, Parmesan and Romano cheese. Uh, I got a one third cup each, maybe a little more. And then we are going to put our pasta and our shrimp into this dish and give it a good stir. And from the way it's smelling right now, it's gonna be fantastic. Remember, you couldn't repeat. Okay, so as you can see, we're starting to boil a little bit. Oh yeah, oh my gosh, it smells so good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add the cheese. Like I said, that's, um. A little bit of Romano, a little bit of Parmesan. I already got it in this pan right here. So we're just gonna kind of flake that down, push that down into this pot. Oh my God, it smells so good. And the bad thing about it is I ain't even hungry. But I try to shoot a video on my day off if I can. But I'm gonna have a little bit, trust me. Just trust in me. All right, so we're gonna, ooh, we're gonna stir that up a little bit. Last time I had to add a little water from the pasta juice, but uh, I'll let this cook down a little bit. And I may have to add a little more cheese, because like I said, my recipe is a little larger um, than, than what the recipe called for. But it's not boiling, but simmering. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it down a little bit. Smells good. Go ahead and add a little bit of more. This one my no, but my no, but my no, baby, baby. Hopefully, that's starting to pick up a little bit. Smells fantabulous. Oh, yeah. All right, we're gonna go ahead and add our shrimp and scallops. Want to get those nice and coated. Get that cooked out a little bit. Then we're gonna add our pasta. Pasta. I don't wanna put all of that in there till I see what it do. Dunk it, hush. Oh, that's still hot too. Pasta. Alright, so we wanna, wanna get these pasta. 
the noodles all nice and cheesy and creamy, if you will. Oh, oh my God. Can y'all smell that? Please smell that. Please tell me you can smell that. And you see how the red peppers are kind of coming through with the color? It's going to add a little pepper. It's supposed to have fresh parsley flakes. I don't even know where to get fresh parsley flakes when I go to the store. So we're going to put that thick stuff up in there. How's that look, y'all? How does that look? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and turn that on warm. I'm gonna let that warm down a little bit. I'm gonna put a little bit in the bowl, maybe add a little bit more cheese, and then we're gonna see if it do what it do. I'll be right back. I'm not cooking with P. So welcome back to cooking with P. We're doing shrimp and scallop Alfredo. Um, I put a little bit in a bowl. Cause like I said, I already just ate just a little while ago, but I do want to taste this. So here's the taste test. Let's go. Like I said, the wife just tasted a little bit of it. She said it was pretty decent. Now, just a little backstory. Um, a couple weeks ago, I went to see my son. He lives in Gulfport, Mississippi. Now, he was telling me that you can go down and to the docks, and um, the boats will, the shrimp boats will be coming in. The shrimp boats will be coming in and you can get shrimp like really, 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 really cheap. Well, I didn't get the opportunity to do that, but uh, I did find uh, several little uh, seafood markets that get the the uh, seafood and shrimps uh, coming right off the ocean. And man, let me tell you something. Prices were ridiculously low and I, I picked up, um, what I bought, 10 pounds of shrimp. And um, so anyway, this is the shrimp that I'm using. I got my scallops at, uh, at Walmart in the frozen section. Uh, so anyway, here it goes. So we'll make sure I get me a shrimp zone here. Ooh. Mm. Mm. State Warriors. Mm. 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 Heck of a meal, heck of a meal. You guys need to try it. Check out my recipe. If you need to get the recipe, just look at the video again because I ain't putting it in the description box. Just watch the video, do what I do. And you will have you a delicious meal. I love you guys. Y'all take care. Remember, you are cooking with P. We'll see you next time. Peace. Peace.